Teenagers these days are praising TikTok as the top social media app. Those users with the biggest followings are quickly becoming the big stars of the next generation. Amongst these TikTok superstars is Addison Rae. Of course, even the social media celebrities have their secrets. This is 10 things you didn't know about Addison Rae. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. Number 10, background. While Addison Rae is quickly becoming a well-known face amongst high schoolers and other young people, not everyone knows her background. This teen's short lip sync and dancing videos are what really caused her to blow up on TikTok. She was born October 6th of 2000 in Louisiana. She has two younger brothers as well. She attended a Baptist school in her hometown of Shreveport, Louisiana. While she plans to study mass communications, she has yet to pick a school and definitely seems a bit more focused on her TikTok stardom. Her choices are Louisiana State or University of Louisiana. Number 9 social life. Addison Rae has built her TikTok stardom up on regular posting and works pretty hard on delivering tons of content. This has led to a massive following. She boasts around 51 million followers at the time of this video with 3.1 billion likes. She made her first lip sync video in 2019 after she noticed one of her lip sync videos being reposted on various Instagram accounts. While she's becoming a huge TikTok user, she still tries to keep details of her personal life very private, which includes her relationship status. While it appears Addison is still single, lots of guys are definitely shooting their shot at a chance to grab her attention. Recently, Butler College basketball star Jordan Tucker created a duet TikTok video and left a flirty message for Addison. Many assume it must have been well received since she started following him back on Instagram. Number eight, athletic. While Addison has put a lot of time and energy into TikTok, she participated in plenty of sports, including softball and gymnastics. She was also a cheerleader in high school and even attended the Universal Cheerleader Association All-American Camp in June 2018. She also plays volleyball and is very active when it comes to other school athletics. She is a big fan of watching basketball and football matches. Number seven, parents. Addison credits her parents for much of her success. In fact, her parents also participate in their own TikTok videos from time to time. They don't post nearly as much as their daughter, but every once in a while, Addison will do a dance with her mom and even her father. They also do their own videos together. Often, Addison gets a lot of attention when she posts videos with her parents and has lacked up quite a lot of followers that way. Her mom is also a photographer and even an engineer. The first video Addison Rae posted of her mom was of her lip syncing to Drake's Money in the Grave song. Her brothers also occasionally appear in her TikTok videos and each have their own accounts. Bust down, Tatiana. Bust down, Tatiana. I wanna see you bust down. Pick it up, not break that shit down. Break it down. Number six, dancer. Amongst all of her other talents, Addison Rae is also a trained dancer. Up until 2019, she was even a member of the Shreveport Dance Academy. One of her favorite genres is slow contemporary jazz music. One of her favorite bands to dance to is Florence and the Machine. She has often admitted that she finds true hip hop dancing too difficult to learn despite making many TikTok performing in that genre. She has also told fans that she does often have dance practice for at least one hour a day to help stay in shape and to keep her well practiced for her videos. She has also commented that she has to dance because it keeps her spirits up and it's her favorite pastime. While Addison is dedicated to a variety of athletic pursuits, it definitely seems that dancing is going to be the one that takes her the distance. Still, she always makes sure to play other sports when the opportunity presents itself. Number five, income. These days, there are more and more opportunities for making money. This is especially the case for social media stars who have been able to create branded deals and other money-making schemes through their celebrity status. This isn't even talking about all the money they're making off of advertisers. Addison Rae is no different. According to NBC News, 
The average TikTok star with around 5 million followers makes an average sponsorship payout of 5,000 to 8,000 bucks. With Addison Rae's account so large and influential amongst young adults and teens, it's no surprise that brands would want to promote her. As of 2020, she's been endorsed by major brands such as Chantilly Boutique, McCary's Jewelers, and Uptown Cheapskate. While estimating a growing star's net worth can be tricky, according to various sources, Addison probably receives around $14,000 per sponsored post on her page. Number 4. Hype House Founder Addison Rae is also a hugely influential member of the TikTok platform for being a co-founder of the Hype House. Alongside other TikTok stars such as Charlie D'Amelio and Chase Hudson, she helped found a collaborative group called the Hype House. The Hype House is basically a mansion in Los Angeles that the group rents and shares with others. While Addison doesn't live in the house, she visits often and works with the others to help watch over the house and who gets to be part of the group. When new members come in, she's one of the first members of the Hype House Collective to give her thoughts on whether they should be allowed to stay or go. Many new members go through an initiation period that determines whether or not they can work well with the group. In recent news, a major reality TV company struck a deal with the Hype House to shoot a reality TV show of the TikTok stars. This reality TV show will be known as The Hype Life and will feature many of the famous TikTok stars as young people all across the country watch through their phones. Now, they'll be able to see the young stars interact with one another in the Hype House and any of that drama that unfolds there. While Addison Rae has her own agent, the entire Hype House team is repped by WME as a group. Take it as hard as you can. Number 3. Management While Addison Rae is a major TikTok star, she also does some side jobs. For example, she frequently works as a model as well. She is under the management of a modeling agency in Shreveport, Louisiana. She often does brand work and poses for branding photos or works as a brand ambassador. The 19-year-old has signed with the William Morris Endeavor Agency, commonly known as WME. The agency has also signed deals with her parents too. According to The Hollywood Reporter, they are also stars in their own right. Number 2. Net Worth Addison Rae's net worth is purportedly a whopping $2 million. This is a lot of money for a teenager, certainly one who works mostly in social media. Most of her money comes from Google AdSense, paid promotions, and other branding deals. Sponsored posts on her TikTok and Instagram account easily reach thousands of dollars. As was mentioned before, she's likely taking in an average of $14,000 per advertised post. While TikTok stars want to take advantage of that big money, they are also wary of how many ads they are posting and don't want to lose fans by coming off fake. On TikTok, most don't want to deal with the ads and will unfollow those who post too much. Part of the big reason Addison found such a monetary success is because she's been able to find a balance between ads and original content. Number 1. Feud of course, even Addison Rae can't win everyone over. In fact, she had an ongoing feud with another TikTok star known as Nate Hill. Nate Hill used to be a YouTuber and model, but turned into a professional Fortnite player instead. The big-time gamer released a diss track on his own TikTok that quickly blew up online. Apparently, he kept getting tweets about how he should try to date Addison Rae, but as the messages poured in, Nate started to get pretty annoyed. In fact, he was so fed up with all of his fans saying that, that he decided to take matters into his own hands. At this point, Nate ended up creating the diss track to try and shut down any speculation from fans. After Nate released the song, Addison took to Twitter to express her feelings about the lyrics. She was quoted as saying, This makes me really sad. I can't change how people interact with me or my tweets, but I'm thankful they do. They have a kindness they aren't afraid to share with me and I'm grateful for that. I struggle with body image and insecurities in general, and this can be so hurtful. The feud between these two had already been going on for a while. They both had made some hurtful comments, but clearly, Nate had pushed it a bit too far according to Addison Rae fans. After she released this comment, he quickly took to Twitter to apologize to her and to tell both of their fans how he felt. He was quoted as saying, I made a song earlier, and that didn't land well. Had no intention of hurting anyone. We'll do better next time. 
He also claimed that the diss track was purely because he was annoyed, but he really didn't mean to make Addison feel any way about it and thought he was only talking to his fans. After apologizing to her, he quickly took down the track. While Addison has kept much of her life pretty secretive, only time will tell how she handles her newfound fame and fortune. Being a young celebrity can be difficult for some, while others are able to capitalize on their success. For now, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. As always, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new updates. Last but not least, have a good one, everyone. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple.